Hey family, so we just uh, finished a series at our church about work and career and it seemed to resonate with a lot of people. And I thought about sharing some of the big takeaways from the series. I think if I could um, characterize or summarize the series in a couple of statements or phrases or ideas, I would say that one of the things we pointed out is that it's important for us to respect the chain of command at work. We need to make sure that we're listening to those in authority. Um, this is a biblical principle, and I believe when we listen to those who are over us, it sets a good precedent in our lives because we have to do the exact same thing with God. And I tell people all the time, there is no way you can serve and obey a God you cannot see if you can't respect and listen to someone who you can see. In addition, we have to understand that we should not base our identities from the work we do. You're not what you do. And your identity, who you are as an individual, your sense of value and self-worth should not be based upon where you work or how much money you make because if those things are stripped away from you then you feel you no longer have any value and that we know that's not true because a value should be based upon the fact that Jesus died for us God sent his only begotten son to give his life to give up everything just for us it's, it's kind of like if someone said hey can I um uh, give you money so you can, you know, hang out with me for a weekend. And someone says, hey, I'll give you $10. And then someone else says, no, 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 if you hang out with me for the weekend, I'll give you $10 million. And you're like, wow, how would that make you feel? You would feel incredibly special. In fact, it would change the way other people view you as well. Well, you know, God did the exact same thing for us. He could pay no higher price. He gave his only begotten son. He did not send an angel sitting in a corner of heaven with a broken wing. He gave his very best. Jesus shed his precious blood just for you. You must have value. You must be worth something. And that's not derived or it doesn't come from how much money you make. It doesn't come from your job. It doesn't come from who you're sleeping with at night. It comes from Christ. And finally, we talked about in this series that we have to have integrity. Um, we have to understand that if no one else is watching us, God is watching us. And it's important for us to have an excellent reputation outside of church because people at work see us more than the people that see us at church. And I would even go as far as saying people at work see most of us, some of us, a lot of us more than the people at home even see us. And so it's important for us to conduct ourselves in a way that will please God outside of Sunday morning. So that means when we go to work, we have to be showing people the love of Christ. We have to be consistent. We have to display a great work ethic. And we have to allow the principles of the Word of God to help us navigate through all of the challenges that we may face at work. Because make no mistake about it, you will face challenges at work. God bless you. Pastor Graham here just to give you an encouraging word from the Lord. Amen.